In matters relating to Native American children, who can invoke the protections of the Indian Child Welfare Act? The United States Supreme Court considered that question in Adoptive Couple v. Baby Girl. The court identified all the parties by their status to protect the child's identity. In January of 2009, birth mother, an Oklahoma resident who wasn't a member of any Native American tribe, became pregnant by her fiancé, biological father, a member of the Cherokee Nation. Mother informed father, who refused to provide any financial support until they married. But their relationship soured. They never married, and father never supported mother or baby girl. In June, mother texted father, asking whether he'd rather pay child support or relinquish his parental rights. Father texted back that he relinquished his rights. Birth mother selected adoptive parents, a South Carolina couple, to adopt baby girl. Adoptive parents financially supported mother throughout her pregnancy and baby girl's September birth. The next day, mother signed away her parental rights and consented to the adoption. Adoptive parents took baby girl home with them, began adoption proceedings in South Carolina family court, and served biological father with notice. Biological father initially consented to the adoption, but shortly thereafter sought custody. After a trial, the court awarded custody to biological father. At the age of 27 months, baby girl was handed over to the father she'd never met. The South Carolina Supreme Court affirmed the family court's judgment, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.